in a different spot if you hear lots of traffic i'm actually in la right now i know and i'm wearing an la shirt very cringe this is from brady melville <laughs> top tier i was supposed to film this before i left which is why i'm now filming it here so i'm gonna apologize in advance i don't have any of the boxes for any of this stuff so it's not really going to be like an unboxing. I'm literally just going to haul everything. Just a reminder that buying expensive things doesn't make you better than anyone. They're literally just things. Like, I'm so happy that I'm able to save up and purchase this stuff for myself. But at the end of the day, they're just things. So I don't want anyone to have any like weird vibes from watching this video. It's just a good old haul. But I do have a full shopping vlog for you guys. So let me know if you like the way that it's set up. I was shopping using my airpods so sometimes i'm talking sometimes i'm not so there will be a voiceover mixed in so let me know if you like the voiceover if you'd rather just have music and maybe i'll just vlog every time i go shopping because it actually was pretty easy and it wasn't as awkward as i thought it would be filming on my phone so let me know your thoughts in the comments down below but i'm going to segue into the vlog footage and then i'll show you guys what i ended up getting afterwards so I went ahead and started in the shoe section. I really, really liked that Balmain bag, but I would never wear it because it's pink. Um, I admired the Versace new heel that they have, which Chef's Kiss would never wear, but so pretty. Uh, they just showed this at Fashion Week. Then I went ahead and looked at the Dolce & Gabbana table just for a second. They are problematic, so we do not buy anything from them but they do have some cute sneakers, I'm not gonna lie. We got Celine, I'm not really a fan of their style, it's not quite my vibe, but I do respect the brand. And then of course, we had to go to Gucci. I actually ended up ordering these sneakers online in a different color, so leave a comment down below which color you think I got, but I love the hot pink sole of that pink and navy one, I just know I wouldn't wear that because it doesn't exactly match much of my stuff. They've got the jelly shoes, which everyone was really liking. I feel like they're not very comfortable and they're more so an aesthetic, so I wouldn't buy them, but I understand why people like them. And then the Prada table, they've got their new loafers. I don't know how new these actually are. I could be, I could be completely wrong, but they're new in my mind because I don't wear loafers, but I really, really like those, especially the monolith ones, which are that bottom heel on those boots. And then I went ahead and looked at the Louboutin table. No, this is the Jimmy Choo, then the Louboutin table. I don't know who's wearing Jimmy Choo's. Maybe I'm too young or I just have nowhere to go, but they are very pretty. Um, and I like that kind of in-between kitten heel that they have. We have the Alexander McQueen boots that I really, really, really like with the white sole. I would actually wear these. I just wish they had some other colors. Maybe they do. I know they don't have everything fully stocked in stores, but I know I wouldn't wear those two shades because they don't match anything. These hideous sneakers with this massive tag on the front for some reason. It's going to be a no from me. We got the YSL table. They've got the best heels if you're looking for any. And then my favorite of all, Bottega and then Balenciaga. I think Bottega has some of the best shoes out. They're all very comfortable, and if you're for that chunky look... These tire boots are really, really nice. And then I love all of the Balenciaga mid-rise high top shoes. I don't know why <laughs> because it's so random and I know it's not the ones that most people buy, but those are like the main ones that I like. I do like the triple S, I guess it's called, the ones that have the shoe number on the toe, but I just think they're a little bit, wow, if you heard that, I'm sorry. I just think they're a little overpriced for what they are, but they also have sandals, which are not hideous. They're definitely cuter than Birkenstocks. I will give them that. And then the little padded sandal slides, whatever you want to call them that everybody has, but big, big fan would recommend. And they have a bunch of different colored soles for that tire line, which I think is nice. And they're like the Chelsea boot style. I then went into the little Fendi boutique that they had inside of Saks. This was kind of awkward because there's only one sales associate in there and she was already helping someone. So it was a little bit of a weird vibe. <laughs> I can't even explain why, but they had some cute stuff. 
You guys know I love this shirling that they have. I'm literally wearing the shirling bag in this video, but I came in to look at the Fendi first. I had to ask if they had it because it was completely hidden. Like this looks like it's in plain sight, but I'm not looking at the ground. So I never would have found that on my own, <laughs> but it's just as pretty in person as it is online. I wasn't able to take it out because those were the last two that they had in stock. There's my bag. Um, and you had to put a deposit down in order to look at them. And I'm not about that life. So we just looked at them through the glass. This is the Fendi. I think this is their titanium suitcase. You can actually find this on most um, pre-used sites. So don't buy that in person, please. It's so expensive. I had to look at the Balenciaga sweaters because I've never seen one <laughs> in person. Um, like actually touched one. I've seen plenty of people wear them. I don't know if it's, I don't know if they're real when people are wearing them. No judgment here. But, you know, uh, they are definitely a trendy piece for sure. And then I came across this beautiful Fendi, almost puffer-ish jacket. It's like more of a lighter one. This was really cute. I actually end up trying this on so you guys will see that on me. But they did have their regular Fendi logo and then they had a bunch of their leftover summer vertigo line which i really like that slanted prints that they do on it this was super soft i can't remember what it was it was like a two-piece sweater set or something i didn't even bother looking at the price after feeling it i was like i cannot afford this um but this is some of that shade they did like a lot of blue and yellow for that line it's kind of turned into almost a fall line too like they still have a couple pieces that are stuff that you could wear in the colder months which is nice definitely one of my faves along with the new skims collaboration that they're doing that i'm so excited for i really really like celine's clothes i will say they have like some of the best kind of hooded poncho like jackets and they had some cute jeans in there too. I don't think I'd ever be someone that would spend that much money on jeans. You guys know I love my Shein jeans. <laughs> they have the best jeans for my body type. It's really hard for me to find any sort of designer jean that's going to fit me. And I feel like if you're buying designer jeans, then you probably have the money to get them tailored. And I do not, which means I shouldn't be buying them. So I then went to look at the Montclair because they have the best puffer jackets in the game. I don't know if I would ever pull the trigger and buy one though because I'm convinced that this is just going to be a trend and we're going to let this go again in about two years which would not be a return on my investment on the price of these jackets. I love this. These are so expensive. My mom would love this. Might have to think about coming back.
So I ended up getting two items and then I have a third item that I wanted to show you guys that I actually got for my birthday. I was gonna put in my birthday haul, but I don't know the order of my videos going up and I feel like I'm gonna end up spoiling it in one of my vlogs. So I thought I would just show it in here. So I actually purchased this probably like a month ago, but I've only just started using it this week after my birthday because I wanted it to actually be a birthday present to myself. So I am not a huge fan of their bags. I don't know why, but I think the way that they do like their logo and everything just always ends up looking really cheap to me. Like I like it on some people, but like all of the styles of their bags, I'm like, I would absolutely never wear that. But when I found this, I was pleasantly surprised. Um, I've never seen anyone with this ever. Um, but I did see it on their website and it is their medium YSL Kate bag. This is editing me. It's actually their Jamie bag. I don't know why I called it the Kate bag. Um, like I said, I've never had one of their bags before. This is the Kate bag, little envelope, my screen. It's a protector, I swear. Um, but it is their YSL medium Jamie. So it's their small one that is actually pretty popular. So I've never seen the, I guess, medium one in person, but I have seen the small one, which I will say in a second, but yes, my bad. So I think the small one is the one that's pretty popular. I went on YouTube trying to see reviews for it and I could only ever find the small one. And I was like, that's way too small. So I got this because Number one, I don't think I even own a black bag this size that is black and gold. I have my Chanel Classic Flat, but that's silver, and I wear a lot of gold. I don't really mind, you know, mixing up my jewelry and everything. I, I'm not one of those people where I think it's like a fashion, it's called fashion fapu. That sounds wrong. You know what I'm trying to say. That is not the word. Maybe it is. I don't know. Anyways, I don't think it's like cringy or anything. Um, and I like the YSL bags that do have the chains. So this one can be like the double shoulder bag chain, which I actually wore like this yesterday and it was very comfortable. Or you can just do the regular crossbody. And the crossbody I think is a pretty good height. I have a pretty short torso. It's my belly button here. Um, but I think it lays to a good position. And this bag doesn't look too big on me. I find that a lot of the YSL bags just look too bulky. Like I am in love with the Lulu, but the mini is too small for stuff I wanna bring. Like I wanna be able to put my camera in here. I can fit my camera. I can fit my phone, wallet, mask. It doesn't take a lot of space, chapstick, like any extra stuff I can fit in here. And I find that some of their other bags once they get bigger, they just look bulky when you do a crossbody. And I like really only wear crossbodies. So love it. So this is what the front looks like. It is so soft. The most beautiful quilting. They have a bunch of receipts in here. Yeah. This is the inside. So there's a zipper pocket. Um, and then you also have like card holders and another little pocket in there. And it's pretty deep. Like I said, I can fit a lot of stuff in here um, pretty easily. I've not had it scratched at all yet and I have not been gentle. So I think she is going to hold up well. That's the bag that I got. I didn't get it from the store. Um, so now I'll show you guys what I actually picked up when I was there. So I did get these boots in person. This was the last pair that they had in this clear heel. So you may have seen this on Instagram because I feel like I might have posted an outfit photo in them now. I don't remember. But these are the Bottega Veneta. I think it's how it's pronounced. Um, I think these are the tire boots. They're the ones that have like the slime on the side. So these are just the clear heel, but they have somewhere like this is all green. There's a purple. There's a red. The first time I ever saw these with the color was Hailey Bieber. You guys have probably all seen the photo because if you look up these boots on um google you would think that she invented the boot because it's just photos of her in the one with the red heel these are so comfy so i wore these in the airport for the first time like actually fully wearing them and starting to 
break them in and I was surprised that they were pretty comfy. I will say that my foot kind of rubs up against this part a little bit. I got a size, I think a 40, I went with a size 40 and I think they fit well. I would say go true to size. I'll link those down below, I'll link that bag down below. And now for the star of the show. I asked you guys about this jacket on Instagram a couple weeks ago because I really, really like it. Fendi came out with their summer vertigo line that has kind of started dripping into, I guess, the fall winter season. And it is this pattern that is like the bent Fs. So I love logos. I really, really do. I hate myself for it. So don't get on me for it. But I do really, really like logos. And this jacket, chef's kiss. When I saw it online, I was like, I have to have it. I have to, I have to have it. So I got this from Farfetch. Pro tip, if you can, go in stores to try out clothing sizing wise, because most of the luxury brands have the weirdest sizing. So you guys probably saw in the clip, I tried on like a completely different Fendi jacket because I was like, let me see if I can kind of get a feel for how their stuff fits. As someone who has like bigger lats and I actually have muscle on my body, um, jackets are kind of complicated sometimes and I want to be able to wear stuff underneath of them. So I was really worried about the size but this fits really, really well. I don't remember, I wanna say I got a 38. I was between like a size like 36 and 38. I was like, let me size up because I wanna be able to wear stuff underneath of it. So let me shut up for a second and just show you guys the jacket. I have it on the hanger because I had it in the closet. But it is this cutie here, which does have a hood. Um, it has just the buttons and then it also has the zipper insert. Now this jacket is really cool because this is like a raincoat-ish material and it's kind of a different color. It's like a brown, whereas this is more of like their olive shade that they do. Um, but you can actually unzip the sleeves and just wear it as a short sleeve jacket and it looks bomb. You can adjust it so much. I hate that these ties are so long. I don't know why we keep doing this, but it does look cute, so comfortable. I wore this at the airport and I'm in love with it. Like I said, I did get it from Farfetch. So I think they still have it on the Fendi website. The stock is like limited though. I don't think they have it in any of the stores. I didn't see it at Phipps. Um, and Farfetch, I can't remember whose code I use, but if you just like Google online, you can find lots of codes for Farfetch and My Teresa. Those are like the two sites that work with youtubers so they all have like a code so i was like why number one I, I couldn't find the jacket in person but why would i buy it in person when i can buy it online and then literally save money on it so i would definitely check websites first see if you can use a coupon code to buy stuff and then just try stuff on in person if you want to but that's all i got nothing crazy i'll link everything down below i'll try and link some of the stuff that i showed in the vlog footage as well let me know your thoughts about the way I did this haul. And let me know if you do like unboxings because I don't really care about watching people unbox shoes or clothes, but I love watching people unbox bags. So let me know your thoughts on unboxings if you wanna see them or if you'd rather just me show you what I hauled because I know it takes a really long time for people to unbox stuff. <laughs> let me know, but I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you.